Good afternoon. I'm here today, along with the Minister of Health and our partners in the livestock industry, to express concerns about Health Canada's proposed front of package labeling regulations, specifically those requiring ground meat sold at retail stores to have a high and saturated fat warning label. While I think we can all support the federal healthy eating strategy in principle, Ottawa's scientifically baseless labeling proposal for ground meat will unfairly impact families struggling with high costs of living and would be an extra kick to producers already working to get back on their feet. Alberta's livestock associations have written to Health Canada to request that ground meat be exempt from the proposed front of package labeling, similar to exemptions being offered for other nutritious single ingredient foods like milk, eggs, vegetables, and other meats. This restrictive labeling proposal for ground meat could have significant market consequences for Alberta producers, increasing production costs, lowering consumer purchases, and decreasing exports. Every Canadian should take pride in the fact that Alberta's livestock producers drive economic growth and supply the world with high quality meat, and that we have some of the highest standards for animal welfare, sustainability, and food safety. Food security and supply chain issues have been top of mind lately with market and supply chain disruptions. And Albertans are fortunate to have unmatched access to high quality homegrown meat products as an essential part of a healthy diet. Food costs are already on the rise and Albertans can't afford added costs or extra regulatory burdens right now. We have faced enough challenges over the past few years and do not need additional red tape, costs, or headaches. Our government has corresponded with our federal counterparts to express Alberta's concern on this issue. And now we're here together, Alberta's government and the livestock industry, speaking with one voice to reject these proposed front of package labeling regulations. We urge the federal government to focus on food security and affordability so we can do what we've always done, punch above our weight and help feed the world. I'd now like to invite Minister Copping to say a few words from the health perspective on these proposed regulations. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Horner, and good afternoon, everyone. As Alberta's Minister of Health, I also have concerns about Health Canada's plan to put warning labels on ground beef and ground pork, indicating these meats are high in saturated fat. What we say about food matters. A healthy diet emphasizing whole foods is part of the foundation of overall health. And consumers look to government for guidance on what a healthy diet looks like, as well as organizations that are responsible for menu planning for their clients. I agree with Health Canada's general intent to help consumers make healthier food choices, but I think they're getting it wrong in this instance. Ground beef and ground pork are whole foods. They're good food. And that's what we should be telling Canadians. The federal government made this decision without consulting the provinces, even though we have equivalent expertise in nutrition and food science and nutrition. The decision is inconsistent with the treatment of other products. It's not good policy and it should be reversed. There's a valid concern about foods that are high in saturated fat, sugar and sodium. But the overwhelming focus of that concern is on processed foods with added fat, sugar, or sodium. Ground beef and pork are whole, single ingredient foods, rich in nutrients, including iron, zinc, and B12, and most of all, of course, protein. Health Canada gets it right with regard to beef and pork in general. Meat that is not ground will be exempt, not requiring warning labels. But they seem to be singling out ground meat without a valid reason. Ground beef and pork are beef and pork, they don't turn into something else in the process of being ground. There are also inconsistencies in the treatment of meat and other foods. Milk and whole eggs are exempt, as they should be, even though they have similar amounts of saturated fat to ground beef and pork. But on the other hand, some highly processed foods, like mini candy bars, are exempt. Health Canada also seems to be ignoring another basic point about ground beef and pork. They get cooked and cooking decreases their saturated fat content. We need to consider how consumers actually use a product. We also need to consider other factors that influence people's choices 
including prices, as noted by Minister Horner. Global prices for meat and other food products are high, and ground meats remain relatively affordable source of protein and other nutrients. They're popular with Canadians for good reason. They're economical, easy to cook, especially for families and, and kids. There is no perfect food. And as I said at the outset, I respect my colleagues at Health Canada who are trying to encourage people to make healthy choices. That's the right thing to do. But in this instance, they're making the perfect the enemy of the good, and quite frankly, they're getting it wrong. I share the concerns mentioned by the Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Rural Economic Development, and as Health Minister, I have concerns of my own. So I'm joining him in calling on Health Canada to revisit this decision. And with that, I'd like to pass the mic over to Melanie Woke, the Chair of the Alberta Beef Producers. Thank you. Thank you, Ministers. Good afternoon, and thank you for the opportunity you've given me to speak with you today. I am Melanie Woke, and I ranch with my family east of Edmonton near Bavallon. I'm also the chair of the Alberta Beef Producers. I'm here today to urgently request an exemption for ground beef. As a single ingredient whole food from the proposed front of package labeling regulations that Health Canada is proposing to put forward. It's my understanding that these labels are designed to help consumers make healthy eating decisions at the grocery store. Labeling ground beef an affordable, nutritious and versatile protein and a staple food for most Canadians is misleading and does not make sense to us. Alberta beef is an extremely sought after protein and almost 50% of the beef consumed in Canada is the ground beef form. Yet, Health Canada intends to place a warning label on a product which is consumed by more than 90% of Canadians that will minimize its nutritional benefits by oversimplifying it with a high in saturated fat label. I don't have to tell you that we're all currently living with record high food inflation and now is not the time to vilify a single ingredient and readily available nutrient dense food product. Now, more than ever, Canadians need the federal government to provide sound guidance on healthy food choices as we are rebounding for a, from a pandemic and we are navigating legitimate fears about global food security, inflation and prices. Canada will be the only jurisdiction in the world placing a health warning label on its ground beef. Alberta farmers and ranchers are struggling right now and our federal government should be supporting our industry in the middle of a global food shortage, not working against it. Alberta producers want to continue to supply this vital part of the Canadian diet, yet the ability to do so is becoming continually more difficult for us. Between the rising costs of electricity, fuel, natural gas and fertilizer, and a severe drought that has added water scarcity and increased the cost for animal feed, Many producers have been forced to, to downsize their herds and sell their cattle. We need to prevent further negative impacts on our industry, the economy, trade and food security. Approximately 50% of Canada's beef is destined for export markets and unnecessary trade implications may result from this decision, negatively impacting our already volatile international markets. The beef industry and its exports are a main economic driver in Alberta, employing over 55,000 full-time workers and contributing over $4 billion to the province's GDP. Beef producers should not be expected to carry the burden of another market barrier. I would like to thank our national organizations, the Canadian Cattlemen's Association and the National Cattle Feeders Association for their hard work in Ottawa on this issue. You, as a consumer and producers, can take action by visiting don'tlabelmybeef.ca and sign up to show your support. Lastly, I would like to extend a huge thank you to Ministers Horner and Copping for their continued support of our industry. I'd now like to introduce the Vice Chair of the Alberta Cattle Feeders Association, Keith Gregory. Thanks, Mel. Good afternoon. My name is Keith Gregory. I operate a feedlot near Strathmore, 
and I am also the vice chair of the Alberta Cattle Feeders Association. As a beef producer, I am confused and concerned as to why ground beef needs to carry such a damaging and unnecessary front of package warning label. I take extreme pride in the, the beef that I produce. I am certified through the Canadian Round Table for sustainable beef and my feedlot operates an integrated beef research station that is committed to providing research to improve feed ingredients, enhance weight gain while reducing environmental impact, and reducing animal handling and stress in order to produce a good, healthy product for our consumers. <clears throat> the proposed labeling of whole, single ingredient foods, such as ground beef, contradicts the foundational principles of healthy eating and will distract from the real nutrition priority. Canadians need to reduce their consumption of high processed foods. Ground beef is a healthy, affordable protein that can contributes iron, zinc, vitamin, B12, and other essential nutrients that many Canadians need more of in their diets. With this label, Canada will be the only country in the world placing a warning on its ground beef. And with current inflation and food prices continuing to rise, we need to ensure ground beef as a healthy single ingredient whole food continues to be accessible to Canadians. This proposed, uh, the, sorry, the proposed regulations are scheduled to head to Canada Gazette 2 imminently. We are urgently requesting an exemption for ground beef on the saturated fat content due to its nutritional value, limited impact on Canadian saturated fat intake, and to ensure we protect Alberta and Canada's beef industry. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Martin Waldner from Alberta Pork. Thanks, Keith. Good afternoon, everyone. Martin Walner, uh, Executive Director with Alberta Pork and uh, Farm Southeast of Edmonton. Pork and uh, grain, mixed grain farming. So I want to thank everyone this afternoon for their support of our industry and taking the time to understand our concerns around front of package labeling for ground meat. Ground meat is a healthy, unprocessed, affordable staple in the diets of many Canadians where less than 10% of the saturated fat in most diets comes from fresh red meat. It is important for Canadians to be mindful of fat intake, but more than 40% of saturated fat in Canadian diets comes from processed foods, including plant-based foods. Pork, fresh or ground, is a nutrient-dense way for many Canadians to get nutrients like iron, zinc, and vitamin B12 in their diets. As with all issues that impact our industry, we are supportive of science-based decision-making. There is no evidence to justify the labeling of ground meat products over fresh meat products. Putting a misguided warning on ground pork will send the wrong message to Canadians and Canadian consumers who need all the affordable source of protein during this time of high inflation and pandemic recovery. Again, I would like to thank you, Minister Horner and Minister Cotting for putting your time and attention to this very important issue for our industry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to be opening it up for questions now. If uh, media in the room, if you have a question, please step up to the mic. Um, Go ahead. Good afternoon, James, uh, Alberta Farmer Express. Uh, question for Keith. Uh, go ahead. Producers are already dealing with escalating carbon tax. They're dealing with inflation. What message is Ottawa sending to producers with this situation? Well, with, um, like you said, the carbon tax, um, this is just another barrier for us to <clears throat> to deal with and with the drought last year and um, the issues we have in in processing beef um, you know this is this is another blow th for our industry uh, question for minister Horner um, what can the province do to to mitigate the situation just out, outside of holding a press conference 
Well, we've been, uh, it feels like we've been at this for months already, and we definitely have been for weeks now, uh, from our office sending letters to our federal counterparts within agriculture. I'm grateful for Minister Copping uh, joining us today uh, to attack this from the health perspective. This is, it is a health regulation, uh, but we're going to continue having those conversations uh, and continue uh, concerned Albertans, whether they're producers or consumers, to continue to reach out to, to us and we'll continue to send that message as well as our MPs and, and work with industry to, to send that message. But uh, we're, uh, we're aligned and we're united, uh, but it's uh, the ball's in their court, so to speak. So we're just asking them to, to rethink this and uh, maybe re-engage with the provinces or engage with the provinces they didn't in the first place. But uh, Okay. Yeah. We're gonna go to the phones now. Um, for a reminder, for those on the phones, please state who your question is for. Operator, can you put through the first question? Thank you, Brianna Karsten Smith, Global. Thank you. I wonder if maybe Melanie is the best person to speak to this. I'm wondering if there's a figure of how much Alberta actually produces in ground beef uh, annually or uh, how much is exported from Alberta. Sure. I'll, I'll try uh, first, Miss. Um, this was a stat that I, I just looked up before this presser, but uh, of the total retail uh, meat sales, uh, 4.34 uh, billion, 15 and a half percent of that total uh, would be would be found by ground beef, pork, veal, and lamb. If that answers the question. Did you have a follow-up question, Operator? Can I you wonder. Oh, yeah, I wonder, Mr. Horner, if, if that was specifically um, Alberta. And then my follow-up question would be how the correspondence has been with the feds, um, what sort of reaction you've returned? Uh, that is an Alberta statistic, to answer your first question. And I'd say so far the correspondence to my office through agriculture has been one that they uh, acknowledge our concern. And uh, that's, that's basically where it's been left. Operator, can you put through the next question? Thank you. Catherine Grakowski, Alberta Today. Thanks. for. Who, I, I'm not quite sure who would be best to, to answer this, but I'm wondering if the proposed labeling requirements have differentiated between uh, a ground beef that is, say, 5% fat versus a 30% fat. You know, you can get a, a range. Um, I'm wondering if there's any any leeway there in what they're proposing. Uh, I'll, I'll let Mel answer that question from Alberta Beef Producers. So I believe what's coming out of Ottawa right now is that it will include all ground beef. That could be up to extra lean. It depends on their 15% saturated fat levels, but most ground beef will fall into those into that level. Okay. And, and Minister Horner, you mentioned off the top that this could end up costing consumers more could end up costing the producers more can, can you just break break that down for me how does it end up costing more to have this sticker well I'd say at a high level any label adds cost um, it's speculative at this point uh, because we would be the only jurisdiction in the world that would be putting uh, a front of package uh, label on these products but any label adds costs and it and it also opens the door to questions uh, around uh, exports and our trading partners. Uh, right now we have a, a global protein shortage, so we have um, many, many partners abroad that are looking to expand their, their diets and they're, they're looking to see what Alberta has to offer. So I think we're, we're hesitant to add uh, any label, but it's, uh, I, I think it's just uh, uh, common sense there will be some cost uh, in, involving a, a new label. Uh, do we have another question in the room? Yeah, hi, it's Tom from Global Calgary. Just wondering, have you had any conversations with other provinces, other producers? Like, every province produces uh, ground meat. So have you talked to any other provinces? And are you thinking of coming up with a strategy to uh, face Ottawa? With this? Well, I guess uh, for, for myself, we spoke with uh, Saskatchewan. Uh, we're currently in a round of uh, negotiations with the, the federal uh, our federal counterpart and every provincial ag minister on the next policy framework. So it's something that uh, has been brought up in the most recent weeks, but something I can assure you will be brought up uh, with all of them uh, in the weeks to come. 
Did you have a follow up or? Okay, uh, we have another question in the on the phone lines. Operator, can you put that quick through? Yes, follow up, Brianna Carson Smith. I could just have maybe one of, I don't know whether it's a Melanie Keith, uh, one of you could just speak to how difficult it has been over the last two years and uh, some of the challenges that you've been going through uh, as ranchers. Maybe we can both speak to this as I come from the cow-calf end of things and Keith comes from the feedlot end of things, but I have often said to uh, our general manager at Alberta Beef Producers, I'm not sure what we did in a previous life to, to rectify this, but it's been extremely difficult. The drought last year was so far reaching through all the Western provinces and the Northern parts of the United States uh, feed and now, you know, I think a lot of people think that we can come out of a drought like this in a year. A lot of our pastures require rest. We are, um, you know, in a, in a water situation uh, down south. They're still quite dry. And then, of course, the carbon tax has been brought up. It's, it's increased all of our costs significantly from fuel to truckers to fence posts to wire, it, it just touches every part of our lives and it's just becoming more and more expensive to provide this product to, to the Canadian public and you know we're trying to, to keep it at a, at a level where they're still willing to purchase it and I, and I know the question always comes up, well the prices in the stores are crazy. Uh, I just want to reiterate that that's not the prices that we're seeing at the farm gates and we are as I said, working hard to continue to try and make it affordable for Canadians. I don't know if Keith wants to add to that. 